Hey, Tony. What, what, what is this? Well, your door was open, so I decided to come in and set up a bunch of microphones while you were reading and figured you might want to talk about Resident Evil Extinction. I mean, yeah, I'll talk about Resident Evil Extinction and how it might be the best or worst Resident Evil movie, but uh, you could have called. We could have done this at the store. I don't know why you felt the need to just walk in and do this. I don't have a phone. It's this has been a long time coming. It has been a long time coming. Uh, yeah. Resident Evil Extinction. We we made it to <clears throat> Apocalypse. Yeah, and that and I think that's the last time I was ever on the channel. I think so. I think so. I don't think I've been on anything. I, but yeah, I've, I, been, I've been in hiding for a bit. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm a, I also like to get away from everything, like hang out at my place. But you know, people just keep barging in. Yeah. But anyway, Resident Evil Extinction, uh, I have it here, from the director of Highlander. The first Highlander? Hmm. And Highlander 2. Oh. And Scorpion King 2. Oh. But don't worry, don't worry. We have- Is uh, this Scorpion King 2, it's like the quest for revenge or whatever it's called? It's like, like a prequel. Okay. It's like oh. the rise of whatever. Is that why he doesn't look like The Rock yet? Yes, like he yes. turns into The Rock? Uh, one day I'm going to do a Scorpion King video because he literally starts off as- Samoan in Egypt to Filipino in Egypt. And then he's just like a white guy in Egypt. Maybe it was like, you know, a lot of nomadic travelers. <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry. Because we have cinematography by Douglas Aroniakowski. Okay. He directed Highlander 4. <laughs> well, you know, I will say the cinematography in this movie has a lot of those things that you you need in a Resident Evil movie, like close-ups of items getting <laughs> cut in a cross section and falling, or uh, you know, bullets being followed from something to yes. something else. Yes, and uh, mm -hmm. when I think of Resident Evil, I think of blazing hot suns yes. and deserts and deserts. <laughs> so. This is the last one I saw in theaters. Yeah. And I don't remember. I, I must have seen it in Philadelphia or mm. I went back home and saw it with friends. But I remember being like, I don't know why I even see these movies in theaters. I hate <laughs> them. Yeah, I, I tapped out theater wise after the second one. I waited till this was like on demand. OK. Uh, and I remember watching it being like, well, this is stupid, but I'm kind of entertained by it. Yeah, it's I can't stress it up. It has almost like the last two were kind of Resident Evil, like there was kind of a yeah. mansion. Resident the first Evil. one is the is the most Resident Evil yeah. for me. And then two has stuff from the games, yeah. but this it's like the tyrant, the crows. It's not really a tyrant. It's, it's like not even he's really got, a, he's a like tyrant. A wiggly tyrant. Yeah, like, I, um, I can't wait to talk about his when he's wiggly. like, <laughs> and it just like goes and hits the guy in the eyeballs. Yo, okay. First off, also I was looking at this. So there, this this the movie begins with. Alice yes. walking through the thing and, and she it goes into the It starts off laser almost room. exactly like the yeah. first movie. She the laser room, I could I guarantee you I could recreate that entire effect <laughs> in After Effects with just with just lines. Like just <laughs> I will animate the lines and I guarantee you I can give yeah. you the same uh, Resident Evil laser effect. I can't make the cubes. I can't make like a bunch of cubes and stuff yeah. with people, but I could redo that effect. It's just a line with a glow and a yeah. turbulent displace on it. It's pretty funny. Like that's it. But yeah, so we find out that um, the Alice, the, they're cloning multiple Alices. Yes. Because would it be Alice or would it be allies? <laughs> or or al al Alopides? Well, bring it um. I guess because they found out in the previous film that she had psychic abilities. Yeah, she wa she looks into at the end. She yeah. looks into the camera and kills the man. Yes, and uh, and then and then at the end they like they're like activate Project Alice and her eye turns into the umbrella logo. Yeah. Which, what? How do they do that? I have no idea how <laughs> they do. So that. Is that just like they're like we? She's uh like proprietary. Like it's like <laughs> copyright umbrella like logo on your eyeball. Like that's what, <laughs> what? um branding. I do like that uh, she she knows it's like a trap, so she's like wheeling the gurney, and there's like a big blade that yeah, hits it. A big uh, gilly. But then there's like, I don't know, I feel like the the thing that pops out of the ground and machine guns in yeah. the uh, 360s, like, I don't know, I feel like it's really hard to avoid, guys. Yeah, I mean, I guess she could have like ducked onto the floor or something. <laughs> but also, too, like, um, 
and then you know, and then it's just stupid. Also, yeah. what if anyone else walks through that hallway? Well, no, we see that hallway later. It's like who keeps fixing the hallway? Yeah. Uh, also, she's in that hallway. Where did the every all the scientists even come from? They're right there once she dies. Yeah. They walk right up. Like they're just there in a in a flash. That's bizarre. You know what else is weird? So they throw her body into a ditch. Yeah. And we see there's like 80 Alice's. Yeah. But like there's no different levels of decay on them. Mm -hmm. It's like, do they all just, just, well, maybe it's cause the T virus in her blood. I don't know. <laughs> I thought also, like, I like that. They like, they're like, make sure your hair is in front of your face. So yeah. We, they're like, we, we can't, can't we can't do the Mila face Jovovich. replace on yeah. everyone. So and the face replace is kind of rough on a couple. Yeah. Of them. Oh, there's some rough CG in this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as the camera pulls out, like you think they'd be like the further we get, the more like decayed some of them would look. Also, I have a question. How many fucking copies of that dress and boots do they have? <laughs> they just had, they went to like TJ Maxx and like Yeah, but bought, why did they the even rack. Why are they even doing the dress thing? I don't know actually. <laughs> I guess like I guess we, that's the thing. Like, I guess her, her memories implanted in there too. Cause isn't it too, she has like a psychic link with them or something in a weird yeah, way. Yeah. We find that later on. Later in the film. on. Okay. Um, so I, what did I write? All right. So I wrote movie starts off dumb with the clones, uh, shaves her off her soul. That's the part. So she jumps up into the thing and it, and it just cuts yeah. the bottom of her shoe just the same way as it cuts the knife yeah like close-up of the knife like there's always that there's always like this close-up they, they love their close-ups it's an underground facility yeah and they have a little shack above that's like it's always cover. an underground facility but like, too in all of these movies but it's like a trap door that opens and the fucking table in the middle of the room in the room <laughs> splits in half it's like yeah, like really? You, like guess, you factored that into your foot? Like you could have just moved they the tape. Just moved it, or like put it on one of the sides of the thing. Like what the? <laughs> it's literally a table that also splits like it who's half. gonna really find that place anyway and be like, oh wow, like I wonder if this table is real. Like yeah, it, they're gonna know? be. <laughs> it just seems weird that they. I'm like, just I like, know, I'm like they're really, really overthinking this. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, then we pull out, we see all the zombies. So yes, uh, in the time between the two films. Which is weird because uh, they nuked uh, Raccoon City in the second one. I was reading, there was something in the original script that mentioned that the rats, like the games, okay. apparently got out of Raccoon City and like were And ran to it. the next city. I guess so. The thing I is, like, so. so so the thing is, but it was walled off. I guess, okay, they can probably get out of the walls. Are you saying walls um, don't work? <laughs> I guess so. Can, can you look right in the camera? <laughs> <laughs> so they, they build the wall. They build a wall. They build a wall. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't work. Oh, and then, no. <laughs> um, the rats got out, but they don't explain it. They just. And then the other thing, too, is not for nothing. But uh, now all of a sudden Raccoon City is in like Michigan. But it was in like Pennsylvania. In yeah, first, it's in weird. The, in the, in the one previous before, one, it was like in Pennsylvania, and then it switched to yeah, Michigan because they're in like the Great Lakes, and it's like, oh yeah, that's like you know, yeah. why did they? Why did I don't they know. Just... They mentioned that I guess at the end of two, she was in the Detroit facility. Yeah, but then it's like, okay, so it dries up the ocean. That's so the okay. Yeah, so the virus the got up. out, and it's killing all forms of life. Okay, it's like, but then oceans dried up. Like, how did the virus? dry if anything, up the ocean it would probably make it crazier because like in you know in all the games like for instance like plant 42 yeah in resident evil one is a plant that they gave the t-virus yeah and it turned huge so yeah. if you think about it it doesn't kill things there should it be just, like giant plant monsters mutant. ever yeah like there, there would be humongous sharks yeah alligators giant well, plants like seaweed that would just be like, like well karen if you want giant monsters in your Resident Evil, fire up your Netflix account. I don't want to talk about the <laughs> fucking show. I, Maybe if you one got, day we'll do the show. Maybe if you we'll guys missed it, day. well, I already did it. If you guys oh, missed you? it oh, okay. in Thank the uh, live episode where we wrapped up 2022, me and Adam talked about Resident Evil, the Netflix show. So the reason why I wasn't in that one is because I refuse. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, no review. I refuse. Yeah. But here's the thing. <laughs> If you don't feel like watching that four hour long live stream, I have clipped a lot of the stuff we talked about and put it yeah. on the clips channel. So on the clips channel, I clipped the Netflix resident so evil review. Just a real quick thing about the, that yeah. uh, one, I only saw like, I think three episodes of it. Mm. I couldn't do any more. It yeah. drove me nuts. Yeah. Uh, I can't stand that main character. She's uh, but, oh, you awful. mean, you mean 
the star of the new hit game, Forspoken. Which also, so I'm playing Forspoken, the demo when it came out, and I'm like, oh, I can't stand this character. Like, why do I find her so annoying? Like, she doesn't shut up when you're playing. And then I'm like, oh my God, it's the girl from Resident Evil. Like, they really banked hard on her, and I feel like she's, like, the most annoying person So I need to figure out, because, like, so I saw her in Resident Evil, and yeah, she is pretty terrible. I can't that. say I hate the the part where she the worst part in the whole thing yeah. is when she goes to that apart every time she so this is the show Resident Evil. <laughs> she goes to a place, uh everything seems okay. Up, oh, guess what? It's not. Now she's running for her life. She gets out. Then she goes to new place. Seems like everything is okay. Up, oh, guess what? It's not. And then she has to run for her life. And now and I have to goes, have a flashback. Yeah, and then flashback to a girl who like, looks nothing like me. <laughs> nothing like, and and that and she's even worse in the flashbacks. Yeah. Like she's awful. Yeah, she's just horrible. I feel bad time. for the actress though because yeah, because she's in Resident Evil. She sucks. Forspoken. That game looks terrible. It's not she, fun. She was in the Charlie's Angels reboot from a few years Ugh. ago. So there's a movie with her on Amazon Prime called Run All Night. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna check that out. Okay. I'm like, there has to be a reason. They keep, I must only be seeing the bad stuff. Yeah. I, I, I've i decided, you know what? These days, I'm not going to shit on actors and stuff. I'm like, maybe, maybe I have Maybe they're bad direct. Well, it's directing usually, they yeah, say. Because, yeah, because uh, they're about to ruin Indiana Jones again. Uh, and they Yeah, put, I can't believe that's real. And they put that chick who was like the awful robot in Solo, the social justice robot. Oh. She's in it. And I'm L3? Like, yeah. And I'm like, look, I only saw her in that. And she <laughs> she co-wrote that terrible last James Bond movie. I'm like, but maybe she's in some good I didn't things. see. Actually, I haven't really watched most of Daniel Craig. Uh, no time did I. It, Siphon filter. It's literally the oh, Siphon really? filter. They Whoa. literally make a virus that targets people. Siphon filter. Yeah. My God. My Siphon God. filter. It, it, literally, I'm watching it. I'm like. They made a virus that targets you based off your genetic makeup. I'm like, that's siphon filter. Siphon filter. Anyway, so so this girl in the Resident Evil Netflix show. Okay. I'm like, I'm gonna watch one more movie with her and see if she's actually good in something, and then and then I'm done. Okay. I'm multiple strikes now. I'm gonna be nice. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if I watch her in something that's not like sci-fi or something, maybe I'll join. But anyway, back to this. Was film. it good? What? The movie that you watched? Or no, I said I'm going to oh, watch it. Oh, you're going it. to watch it. I okay. haven't watched it yet. Well, wait. One thing I want to say. The yeah. part where she's in the apartment where the woman is feeding cats to her dead husband. Right. And she's like... So so the thing is, she she constantly makes these quips. Also, everyone that she meets in the show, you're like, they're going to die. I don't oh, even yeah. know why. Every single time she gets they're going to so die. many people killed. Yeah. She jumps off a roof and is just fine, but everyone yeah. else dies immediately yeah. the second of meeting her. But no, she's like... Uh, She's like gets out and everything, and then she goes, "Oh yeah, and by the way, the thing with the cats, really fucking weird." It's like every single thing she has to say is some sarcastic, annoying yeah. quip. It's not funny, and then and not so that like, happens. Forspoken, <laughs> yeah, Forspoken is the same. That's something thing. I could do now. Where, yeah, it, it, that's. <laughs> Did you see uh, Vega sixty four making fun of it? No, I, I watched uh, Moist Critical. Oh uh, like, no! The, did I just like she says things like? Uh, yeah. Like, is that a motherfucking dragon? But then she goes, <laughs> I just move things with my freaking mind. And it's like, wait, why, why are you well, saying that? Uh, Mega 64, they did a thing where they're like famous video game characters, uh, but they're talking like we're spoken. So uh-huh. it's like Call of Duty. He's like, did I just stop World oh War God. Three? That's amazeballs. <laughs> <laughs> well, so also, too, I will say is she looks... It, it, in Forspoken, she looks terrible. Like they don't. The CG, yeah. They yeah. didn't really like animate her well when she's just yeah. pl- gameplay. She's that weird. Her mouth. face gets all weird. But then, like for instance, the Callisto Protocol, which mm. that game isn't good. It's yeah. not. It, it's not horrible. But the 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 way that they had uh, Joshua Duhamel the whole time. Oh yeah. He's constantly reacting to things, and his face looks real. Like he never looks complete. Like he he looks not. Like, yeah. You know, he's three D, of course, but. He never looks lifeless or like a crappy doll or awful 3D. But the whole time <laughs> I was playing for Spoken, it just looks terrible. It looks terrible, and it's not fun. It's like playing Spider Man, but n- not nearly as fun as Spider Man. Well, Karen, we're talking too much about video Sorry. games, which yeah. are for children. Let's get back to this movie for adults. <laughs> so yeah, so the virus ate the ocean. Yeah. Just it just did. It just I don't did. know how. Uh, and uh, then Alice is uh, she, everyone. Everyone's on the run. And blah, by the blah, way. Blah. I think this is the only narration that doesn't start with my name is Alice. Yeah. yeah. So we, we know by now. There's also no dialogue in the first she's five also, minutes. She's also mullety Alice in this one. She's got a mullet. She's very mullety. Yeah, she's got a mullet in this one. She, uh, she, you'll never believe who Emilia Ovich got to design her outfit. 
Who's that? Her own clothing company. <laughs> I was reading that in the trivia. It was like designed by wow. Jovovich or whatever. Yeah, so I wrote, I hate her haircut as a mullet and kills hillbillies. That was the next one. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, because uh, we, we already just had Alice in one situation turn out to be a trap. Let's have another Alice in a different situation yeah. turn out to be a trap. She finds this, like, crazy girl who has a fake baby. Turns yeah. out they're cannibals. yeah. Uh, and they're very upset because Alice, I think, kills one of them. Cause she's yeah, she like, kicks him in the face and just kills him. Yes. Immediately. And she's it's got hilarious. those, what are those knives called? The one Bowie that, knives. Bowie yeah. knives, yeah. Um, you know, crazy story. I actually know uh, a friend of my sister's who's also like a family friend. Uh, they are descendants of Jim Bowie. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they are like direct descendants. And that's they said, a- they were like, I can't stand it when people say Bowie knife. Because they're like, it's Bowie. It is Bowie. Like, so, so if you ever say Bowie knife, I've always said wrong. Bowie. I know I pronounce things wrong, but I think I've yeah. only ever said Bowie. Um, I do kind of like the scene, though, because they throw her into the pit with the zombie dogs. Which also, too, what the fuck was this building? I have no idea. Where did they have these cages? Did these hillbillies just move giant cages I, and build I don't walls? know what this building is. I thought it was like a supermarket or like a bowling alley at first, the way it looks like It's outside. very confusing. And then all of a sudden, there's there's dog cages. There's a lot of electric wires everywhere. Yeah. And like, it's like, did these people move this here? Or like, what was going on in this I, building before? I did kind of like dog cages. I did kind of like how she uses the dogs to like turn on the cannibals. Yeah. Like they, they break that pillar and they, they fall break down. The pillar, they and fall they just down. eat the cannibals, which yeah. I thought was pretty cool. And then she gets all of her weapons that are just on the table yeah. and everything again. Uh, and then I have here poor roadkill zombie. <sighs> There's oh, just yeah. a zombie eating some roadkill. Also, like, all the children are like, yeah, Yay! violence. Like, <laughs> LOL, everyone. Like, uh, I do want to say the buses remind me of Mad Max yeah. and the Dawn of the Dead remake. Um, I think maybe that's why I kind of didn't yeah. hate this one when I was younger because I'm a big Mad Max fan. I'm like, it's got a Mad Max vibe. I don't know. This is, instead of Mad Max, this is more like Sad Sacks. <laughs> This fucking movie. Is that one of the jokes you Oh, wrote? yeah. The other joke is uh, <laughs> Resident Evil Extinction sure puts the stink in extinction. That was my other joke I came up with. Uh, <laughs> the other thing. Oh, yeah. I wish I was extinct rather than watch this movie. <laughs> that was another one. <laughs> I um, wish I would die out. <laughs> <laughs> so we meet, we meet our band. So Alice is on her own little adventure. Yes. For some reason, in between films, she split up from the main group. I don't like any of these new characters that they show. Well, well, there's uh, one guy's driving the bus. He looks like the the pilot from Mad Max. Actually, the pilot from Mad Max. They're like, we need some sort of weird, yeah. skinny, gaunt like you- dude who looks like the pilot from Mad Max. Well, L L J and Carlos return. Yes. Jill Jill Valentine doesn't return in this one until later. That yeah. was, apparently was a scheduling thing, and then I was like, what happened to the little blonde kid? Oh, the little the girl, little girl. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, maybe that actress stopped uh, acting. So I looked up. Uh, it's like, no, they're still acting. And also, they're extremely fucking hot now. Oh. Holy shit, that girl's a babe. Oh, wow. Uh, but apparently, story-wise, there was, like, an older script where, like, I think Alice accidentally killed her with her powers. I heard about, yeah. Yeah. That, like, it, it was, like, when, when Umbrella was, when she was back under Umbrella's control or something. Yeah. She was supposed to, like. But instead. I think that- in, the, in the, someone, I watched a video about, like, all of these a long time ago. Someone did, like, a whole movie retrospect. Yeah. And I think they mentioned that, like, originally in the script, Alice kill, or it's in the the novelization. I oh, think yeah. They, they talk about Which it. they have yeah. in the credits. Like, read the book by yeah. Pocket Books. <laughs> I've. You know, I never read one of those like novel. I have the novelization of Street Fighter the movie. Yeah, and I would love to sit down and actually just like. I have read the it. Godzilla one, the Godzilla ninety eight one. I have oh, a couple yeah. novelizations. Someone sent me uh, on the Alien Three wall the uh, the audio cassette for Alien Three as read by Lance Hamrickson. <laughs> Whoa, that's that's actually cool. <laughs> LJ and Carlos are back. Uh, yeah. They're hanging out with Johnny Cage, and we're only going to call him Johnny Cage. Lyndon Ashby, the guy with the cowboy hat. That's Lyndon Ashby? That's Lyndon Ashby. I didn't know that. Because he, he's such a great actor. He used that southern accent. No You're way. like, there's no way. That's Johnny Cage. Oh, he dies pretty bad later <laughs> yeah. on in the movie. Um, um, but don't worry. Oh, we and, have And uh, also, Kmart. Kmart. <laughs> they found her in a Kmart. <laughs> Which it's, it's surprising that Kmart is actually around in that world. Like, uh, Well, when did the apocalypse start? Like 2004? They still would have been around. Yeah. They still would have been around. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
found me in a Kmart. But don't How worry. Much did Kmart, that's what bankrupted them. They're like, please, <laughs> we need our name mentioned in the Resident Evil movie, please, so people will come. And then it's like, no one came and no one liked this movie in Kmart. Look, you know, they. Th- this is a Sony movie, and they realized they couldn't just do all Sony products. Yeah. They had to plug something else. <laughs> it's like everyone has an Ericsson. Everyone, and has, everyone an Ericsson. has a bio. Uh, I have a. <laughs> Alice has a Sony radio. And yeah, at the yeah. end, there's a Sony. Well, remember the, for the next film, we'll probably talk about it in the next film, the first teaser for Resident Evil Afterlife, or no, Retribution. It was Retribution. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first teaser was just a Sony advertisement that turned into a Resident Ugh. Evil teaser. But anyway. And Claire Redfield. Yeah, Claire Redfield played by Allie Larder from Heroes and Final Destination. Final Destination. One and, two. Uh, and I like her. I like her a lot. I, she. The, the but, thing is, like, I have a dumb reason why she always like annoyed me, but she, her mouth is always, her teeth are just always showing <laughs> all the time. She's always just like, oh yeah. Like I don't know. And it's like, I dated I, the girl who was like that. I, I think like, she's very pretty. Yeah. It's just that like every time I see her, she just has this like. She always plays like the same kind of character too. Like she's always kind of this like jaded, tough. Like she's like Sonya Blade. She should have been Sonya Blade, actually. She should have yeah. played Sonya Blade at some point. She could have been Sonya. Well, Blade. Well, Bridget Sampras was. Yeah, was really but, well, killing. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, actually, she was kind of. Oh, the that's same funny. Way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. House on Haunted Hill. Ollie Larder is with Bridget Sampras. Oh yeah. In that film, huh. <laughs> so she got to meet Sonya Blade at wow. least. Wow. Uh, but the yeah, second Sonya Blade. I don't even remember. Yeah, I don't either. I don't even remember. <laughs> but Claire Redfield is in this, and she acts nothing like Claire. She looks nothing like Claire. Yeah. Apparently, one of the original scripts, the reason they were going to Alaska was because she was searching for her brother. For Chris, which they find in the later one. Yeah, they find. They shoot the quarters. They find. Oh, God. Yeah, they find later <laughs> we'll on. We'll get to that one. Uh, but Claire is just. Next this is year. like. They started doing this with, like, I think Carlos in the last one, where they're like. Here's a character from the game. It's yeah. like, okay, but they don't look or act anything like the game. I mean, Carlos is kind of up, like, you can, you just need a dark haired dude and a yeah. machine gun, I guess, I guess is the thing with, they thought with yeah. Carlos, but Jill was good. I think Jill was awesome. I guess, but movie, that's but the thing. So it's either they look or resemble nothing like their characters. Yeah. Or like they look spot on, but that makes it they even weirder. Like, yeah. It she makes it even a, weirder when they don't act like their it characters. It is also weird like when Jill walks up into the place and just starts blowing people's heads yeah. off in the middle. Go of the, back and watch our Resident Evil Apocalypse yeah. for that. That was pretty But she funny. was a great Jill, I think. I think she was a really good Jill. I think, yeah. like, I, I actually like the Jill Gilroy. in the new one in, in Welcome to Raccoon City. I thought she was fine. I just don't think she looked really much like Jill or, like, acted. Well, what about her didn't look like Jill, I Karen? mean, not everything. What, what about her didn't look like Look, like, here's the thing. <laughs> Nobody looked like anybody. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Wesker didn't look like Wesker. <laughs> uh, Leon didn't look like Leon. Chris yeah, Redfield we, we reviewed like, a Welcome looked to like Raccoon just a white City. Guy. Honestly, the Redfields were the only ones it's that like, kind of looked alike. Why not give her like? Why not give her any of like her outfit or anything? Like, at least, so here's the thing. This is and and it, you know I know what you're getting at, Tony. <laughs> um, but no, it's not even that. It's like give her her outfit at least. Like, yeah, you you just put gave her the name Jill. Like yeah. Leon's wearing his suit, his cop suit yeah jill is just wearing a random like she just is, looks like anybody else but like jill and that's kind of what they did movie, in this they too. put jill in the outfit like she's claire at least wears her outfit and kind of acts like claire in the new one yeah. claire here it's just like we just slap the name it's like why the, jill is the only one that like they just and like anyone else they could like you know brad vickers is in it and he's played by the guy from letter kenny but like you know yeah. like, whatever whatever we're, yeah. we're still going we're going off to but anyway it. uh umbrella is having a meeting they're still wearing oh. suits and having meetings yeah as but if, also, so that's the other, that's the last note I made yeah. is uh, there's a, they're having a meeting and they're all holograms. Like G.I. Joe. Like G.I. Joe. Rising I was Cobra. like, they're, they're like Umbrella and Cobra. I was, like when same. I was watching it last night, I was just like, oh yeah, Kira brought that up in G.I. Joe. Yeah, Rising I Cobra. immediately, I was like, I, cause I'm watching it. Um, I was watching it with Tara and I'm like, I was like, I think they're all holograms in this scene. And it's like, and then I was like, oh my God, that's like. They're like Cobra, where yeah. that whole scene where they're just walking at everybody's a hologram for no reason. Yeah, and, so um, dumb. Wesker in this one is played by uh, James O'Mara, uh, who's in a who's in a bunch of stuff, but he ends up getting replaced in the next okay. movie by a different guy. But yeah, they're like, hey, look, uh, Ian Glenn, I think he plays Isaac, Doctor Isaac. Okay. Uh, who's also Batman in the Titan show. He never wears the bat suit, oh. but he's Batman in the Titan show. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's basically like, look, uh, if we use Alice's blood, we can reverse the T-virus, but we can also make the zombies docile and yeah. bend to our <laughs> command. And they're like, okay, <laughs> uh. okay. 
Uh, so that's so Wesker's like, all right, you have uh, like a week to show me results on this. It's like, stop acting like the world is still like you guys literally just went like, yes, uh, the food shortage is low. We're all dying. Yeah. Anyway, give me your results next week. Business, <laughs> I business. need results by <laughs> next week. Uh, then I have poor Stevie. Sorry about this, Stevie. <laughs> Get zombie gas station attendant oh, who's still yeah. trying to serve gas and they get pin shot. him up to the thing. Yeah, she shoots him with like a crossbow. There's like no, they're very, very like rude to all the zombies. Like, they really they, are. They, these were, you know, the thing is like, and and a lot of it is like uh, I've been playing a lot of The Last of Us, and in that game, mm. like no death in the game. Like, are you really too? Yeah. You you kind of feel bad. Are you watching the movie? The, the, the show? show. I I saw the first two episodes. I haven't seen the third one. I heard though. it was woke. Oh, is it? I, I mean, I the game. <laughs> that's why I didn't play the game either. And it, you know what? I'm going to go on record and I'm going to get a lot of people pissed off. But uh, The Last of Us 2 is one of the best games I've ever played in my whole life. And it's better than the first one, uh, in my that, opinion. That sounds pretty woke. Yo, the, it's so good. <laughs> have you, seen, have you seen what I did on? I've been doing on Twitter. Like I've been posting about Last of Us, but it's just like. I, I keep saying stuff like, I, for one, am okay with the changes they made. But then I followed up with, like, because I didn't play the game and so, I don't know what they're changing. I haven't seen the, the third episode everybody's been talking about yeah. with uh, with uh, Nick Offer Offerman. Yeah. Um, and he plays Bill, mm. who in in uh, the video game, it's it's heavily implied that he's gay. Mm. But, and then it comes out at the end that, like, when you find uh, you find the guy who was his, like, a partner, yeah. and he writes this note, and he's like, fuck you, Bill, I hated you, and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you find out, like, all this time, this dude hated Bill's guts. <laughs> but in the show, they made it where, like, they're actually happy together, which I'm like, I like that they changed mm. it, because it I felt bad. Like, when you, when you find that note, it's yeah. really scathing yeah. and you feel bad for this guy because he's bitter and everything but like then you're like oh wow that's really mean <laughs> i don't know i love that oh and also uh i you know not for anything but abby did nothing wrong <laughs> uh, after playing that i know game, that i know she beats up the guy with a after golf playing that whole game yeah. and and like i avoided well isn't spoilers. it like they could have stopped the whole infection or something yeah and Joel so, kills well, the, i don't yeah. want to tell the story i don't want to spoilers spoilers of the game because like uh Spoilers it's, for Last of Us Two and our Resident and, Evil and Extinction one, video. So, so the, yeah, the thing is, like, spoilers. Yeah, we should. You should put a like a spoiler like graphic before this. But spoiler. Um, <laughs> yeah, he basically Joel, uh, you know, kills the only scientist yeah. that could make a vaccine that turns out to be Abby's dad. And in the game, basically, Abby is just like on a revenge mission, mm. and she she gets it. But then the thing is. You play through the game now trying to kill Abby, and that's how half the game. And then you play as you Abby play as leading Abby. up to that moment. And it's like it offers a crazy per it's it's some of the best narrative in a video game. I, I wonder what they're gonna do with the second season because Hollywood doesn't like uh morally gray people. You need to either be bad guy or good guy. The thing is in in The Last of Us Part Two, nobody is a good guy. You're not playing as any you yeah, think you are. Hollywood doesn't like that. You think you are and you're not. Like no. the entire time you are not playing as anyone. Like even Ellie. Ellie is like I found myself like by the end of the game like like stop like i don't want to <laughs> no like just stop like it was like it's it's great and and we're going off topic that's okay again. that's okay uh back on topic alice finds like a journal from someone who committed suicide yeah that maybe alaska a has the last person maybe the last of, of us yeah maybe the last of us are in alaska because <laughs> yeah. he has like a journal saying that and i think I think in the next movie, it's implied that that was set up to get her there. It's like, wait, yeah. they left a journal in someone's store <laughs> hoping no Alice. One, no one knew where she even was for yeah. like the longest time. Like That's the thing, too, is these How many, it was, so, is like every store in that state have a journal that tells yeah. you to go to Alaska. I feel like every time Paul W.S. Anderson has to write a new one of these, they're like, hey, Paul, you really need to watch the last one real quick. <laughs> and he's like, no, nah, I remember. I directed. It's fine. And then he just directs the movie and forgets half the shit. He well, he didn't direct this. Established. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, like, he writes it. Yeah, yeah. But, like, he, like, there's certain things that, like, just, how does this happen? Oh, I don't know. Fuck it. Like, there's no, there's no Because he's making movies anything. in between. He's probably forgetting, like, what did I do last time? Yeah. Ah, whatever. Well, that's what I mean. Like, and not for anything, but it's Paul W.S. Anderson. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's on, like, Coke. All the <laughs> well, look, the the survivors, uh, we cut back to the survivors. They uh, shoot a bunch of zombies in this place. Yeah. LJ gets bit. Yeah. And they're doing the whole, like, oh. And then Ashanti comes up and she's like, what's love? Yeah, she, 
<laughs> yeah, Shanti's flirting with them. I'm like, that's the problem. And I think I might have mentioned this in other reviews, maybe the Resident Evil ones. Like, after Shaun of the Dead kind of made fun of all these tropes, yeah, it kind of gets cringy when you see them again, like, so soon afterwards. Like, because they made fun of the whole biting and hiding it. And it's like, well, now we're doing it legitimately. Yeah. Like, you got to think of something new. And, and also, too, like, how come, like, other people, like, they get bit and then they change in a few hours, but his took, like, a day and It doesn't a half. make like, sense. Like, it was, like, it takes, like, two days for him to change. Yeah, it takes a really long time. Um, That's why one of the reasons I like 28 Days Later. Uh, yeah. Because, I like, like where it's, like, instant. It's, yeah, it's yeah. instant. Like, like I, I, guy, I, like, looks up and gets the blood in his eye, yeah. and then he's like, wow. Like, I thought it was crazy when um when you first meet the girl and her friend gets bit, and she just starts cutting him up. Yeah. It's like, nope, we don't have time. That part was, yeah. Um, 28 Days Later is probably one of the best. 28 Days Later is great. Yeah. Uh, Mint Salad reviewed it for its 20th anniversary last year. Not only are they ripping off a uh, common zombie trope, they then rip off, literally rip off Day of the Dead. They were already kind of ripping off Day of the Dead with the underground facility. Yeah, yeah. But the video game kind of has that. And you could say the video game was inspired by Romero, so that's fine. But now they have a smart zombie. Yeah. And I'm like, that's and he's, that's Bub or he, Bud yeah. from Day of the Dead. Yep. It basically is. Like, it basically yeah. is. I do like that. Like he's smart for like a second, and then he wants to eat people. I and, will say, uh, and the doctor just leaves those other guys in yeah. there to get eaten. I like. He's like he uses the Sony camera. Yeah, he's he, like, yeah, he uses the Sony camera and the Sony phone. Yeah, and he uses the Sony uh, peg like toy. <laughs> the, the 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 toy that's made know. by Sony. Sony makes those. I don't know if that was Sony. Yeah, it's it's Sony and Fisher Price. <laughs> Why do um, they have so many Sony products? Is it an umbrella? I guess they're a pharmaceutical company, not a technology. But then they have technology. I guess, like, did, did Sony make these movies? Yeah, I think they distributed them. Man, you them think, like, Resident Evil gems. would be like, yeah, we're not putting our games on your fucking systems anymore. You <laughs> ruined us. Actually, no, that was actually, at this point, these movies, I think, were making a ton of money. Yeah. And then, on top of that, like, the game started mirroring the, the movies, basically. Like, yeah. Yeah. I Resident know there's Evil a game 6. where you have to dodge lasers. Yeah, well, Resident yeah. Evil 4 had the laser scene yeah. in it. And then, um, like, Resident Evil 6 turned into where the whole world mm. gets overrun and shit. And it's, oh, my God, Resident Evil 6 is so stupid. And then I guess 7, it's like, yeah, it's fine again. 7 was because they, everyone was like, we hate Resident Evil. Nobody wants to play it anymore. We're losing <laughs> money. How do we bring it back? But it's like, still oh. in continuity, so it's like, yeah, they were like, when the president it, was a zombie? That was weird. Make it scary again? <laughs> So yeah, Alice is having a psychic connection yeah. to the other clones and she starts moving rocks like yeah, a Jedi. A motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, she starts just moving things with her mind. <laughs> um, there's a new little girl AI. Yeah. I think they they don't say her name in the movie, but she's credited as the White Queen, I yeah. think. Um, Which is like Emma Frost from X-Men. Like, yeah. Like that's the White Queen. I mean, that is the White Queen, isn't it? Yeah, Emma Frost. Oh. <sighs> Look, I like, we're gonna we're gonna review that one day, but like I like January Jones, but goddamn, she was terrible. Yeah, I like yeah, I like uh, First Class actually. We no, should, I like yeah. I like First Class. Yeah, I want to work up to it, but like I like January Jones. She looked great in the movie. I just said she I don't, just looks so bored in that film yeah. for some reason, and everyone else is doing a great job. Yeah, I said the funny thing about the X Men movies is it's a lot of people going like this. Yeah, and then just like you know, because if you think about it, like Michael Fassbender had to go like this so many times <laughs> in movies, and you know then he's just doing that. They should have did what uh, Days of Future <laughs> Past did, where like. The characters who didn't come back for this movie, Alice just pulls out a filing cabinet and just sees their yeah, corpses. They're, they're like, oh, dead. that's what happened to them in between films. Yeah. Um, also, I hated Havoc in that movie. I didn't like how he was like, oh, like he yeah. did the they, weird They, they simplify thing. it for the next one. <laughs> yes, but it's like yeah. me and my friend Abner used to make fun of that so bad. He could do the, the thing like perfectly. <laughs> it was hilarious. Like uh, It just looks so stupid. The crows are zombies now. Yeah. Yeah. Because they've been eating fish, uh, infected fish, which they say that. And I'm like, how do you know? Well, I think they could be no, eating I think they infected said flesh. Anything. Oh, I thought they said infected no, I think fish. They said flesh. Not oh, fish. I was like, what's wrong with their eyes? They've been feeding on infected flesh. Infected fish. How Here, the, the the ocean dried <laughs> like, up. Where are they so, getting fish? Well, so either way, too, I'm like they're in they're in Nevada, so like they would have to fly. Well, they're in across. Utah. They're in Utah. They're I on their way oh, to Nevada. Way to That's Nevada? right. Okay. It starts off in Utah. Yo, but they I don't go know. To Nevada. I don't know like any of the states in the middle of like. The <laughs> I only United know states. in the be in the beginning they're in Salt Lake City because they show the sign. But you're okay. right. They do go to Nevada because yeah. they go to okay. Vegas. Uh, by the way, 
if you're just going to set your movie in like desert areas, why say the whole world is a desert? Yeah, I don't know. If you're just going to still film in the desert. Like, I think because he wanted to make mad. I feel like other people have b- pointed this out. Like the whole turn of the world to desert is stupid because they filmed in an actual yeah. desert. So the thing, so this is like, was this the movie that like he didn't direct because he was doing Alien versus Predator? No, or because was he was doing one. Death Race. This might have been Death Race. Okay, because I know he was doing Death Race at one point, yeah. and then he wrote one. Because I know he he only didn't direct the second and third. And yeah, he, he comes. All the other he ones. comes back for the the, the next three. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have here. So the zo- the zombie crows are attacking. Okay. Uh, and I have if Birdemic didn't exist, these might be some of the worst CGI birds ever. Yeah, they look weird. They they look okay once when in a while. When they swarm, they look fine. But when they are just kind of like the swarm in the sky looks good. It's the ones that are like flying past yeah. them or on the windshield. Or I'm like, oh, these look like, rough. Yeah, they looked weird. There's a part where like they're holding the windshield, yeah. but it looks like they're just like this, and someone digitally made the windshield. Yeah, like, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it looks really. It looks really like bad. I like I've done special effects for AVGN that. You've worked on a digital crow. Better. Oh yeah, that's right. Actually, no, I didn't. Justin made the digital crow. Oh, I didn't do that. No. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't me. I just came up with the horrible joke. Still, I I also still challenge anybody to come up with a better joke about a joke about crows or crowbars. I don't Give know. Give me your best crowbar joke yeah. that involves a crowbar and a crow. Put it down in the comments below. <laughs> So uh, Ashanti dies. Yeah, Betty. Yes. He's like, Betty, yeah. Betty. But like Alice like- <laughs> shows up to save the day. So what is it? There's like a flamethrower or something? Yeah, and which is Mad Max again. Yes, and then she uses her telekinesis. To just throw the fire To throw the, the flame in the air. But the the fire is gigantic. I'm like, is she making the fire bigger? Yeah, she like burns she all the crows. throwing it in the air? Or are they all just bumping into each other and lighting each other on fire? I don't know. I think she like, maybe she just like expands the fire. Or I don't even know. It's very know. confusing. Her powers are very confusing. And then but she's yeah. like, uh, like she pulls a Jean Grey and gets all like s- sad and falls yeah. down. And then she's like, uh, Scott, and falls <laughs> down. <laughs> I have it here. They try to make you care about the feud between uh, Ian Glenn's character and that other Umbrella guy, and I have here that I don't care. Yeah, I don't remember who they are most of the time. Yeah, I don't care about their feud. Because the one guy, he's like, "Eh, You're not doing, you don't have permission. Yeah, Uh." and it's just like, oh, you know he's going to do something later. So they decide they need to go to Alaska. Yeah. But they need to fuel up in Vegas because that has the most fuel. Yeah, and they're all eating peaches and shit. Yeah. Oh, that was before that. That was like before when yeah. there guys like shaking the cans and like, <laughs> he's like, these are peaches. And it's yeah. like, you know, like, I, and I was like, what? Like, what if he, <laughs> they're just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Pork and beans. And I also have your, uh, this is better than the other zombie movie in Vegas I saw. I hated Army of the Dead. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't even see, they made like the prequel Army of Thieves. And it's about the, the bank vault guy from Army of the Dead. But when he was robbing bank vaults before the zombie, it's so stupid. Yeah. There's a robot zombie. It's so bad. I have it here. How long is it going to take for LJ to transform? Because it's been like a while. Yeah. Now. And now, he keeps going. It's it's like he, they're like LJ, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, yeah, I'll be right there. Uh. And he keeps looking at his nipples so he can see if he has a thing. Like, it's yeah. like, yeah, we remember. We remember he so. got bit. Like, Also, why would you keep doing that? Like, I would just like pull my shirt up, I guess, to show the the. But, like, how many times have you ever been, like, I need to look at something on my ear, yeah, and I so go like stupid. this. Like, I don't sit there Why and pull my Why hasn't he killed himself? He knows how this ends. He That's knows there's I mean, no too. cure. Like, he's been working with these people. Like, he's not the LJ of Apocalypse, where he's no, just no, some, he's very, he's, some taxi-driving pimp guy with his GTA, dual, like, motherfucker, yeah, 12 points or he's, whatever he he's, said. He's grown since then. Yes. And now, and it's like, no, you're still the you're still an asshole. <laughs> But you put everyone in danger yeah. just because you don't want to, like, I don't know. I think that's really stupid. Uh, you know what else is stupid? So they find a crate. Johnny Cage gets up on oh the Eiffel my Tower. Oh, God. They find yeah, a crate. Yeah, so I didn't know that that was him. Yeah. I really didn't. Because he's talking like this. Yeah. But they find a crate, and they open it, and it's, like, dark, <laughs> and it's hollow. And then this is the clown car <laughs> of, of yeah. zombie crate because a million <laughs> zombies come out of like where they all just huddled. They were all in like this, corner. and they were just like <laughs> shoulder to shoulder. There was like forty of them. <laughs> they all jump out. They start eating like everyone. Like a ton of people die in this. Yeah, this part also I hate so so much. Yeah. 
uh, because I hate Alice's awkward ass martial arts she does. Like she starts doing like the weirdest karate ever. Like she's like kicking, but it's like you could tell that she was like hung up on like one yeah. side all weird. Oh on yeah, she thing does like a and, weird like, spin at one yeah, point. Yeah, and she's constantly like whoosh, whoosh, with the knives, and it's like the the one part that gets me is like near the near the end of the whole sequence yeah. where she she finally like well we'll get we'll get to it. I'll talk to it when we get in that part. Well, are but, you are you gonna mention when they turn her brain off? Yeah, they turn her off because they were able to track her satellite now and because she's just she like, accidentally Duh. looked in the sky for one yeah. minute because uh, she forgot that the, she was tracking the satellite yeah uh, yeah and they just turn her brain off yeah and, and then they're like, like go get her in the middle of the thing but, but then I guess she fights the conditioning <clears throat> she's able to fight it she turns the brain back on yeah uh, and during this uh, LJ and Johnny Cage sadly die yeah they all and die. he f- he falls and smashes like he's like yeah bump, when he falls and I'm pretty sure uh, Carlos gets bit bit yeah Carlos gets bit yeah. um oh and then also too what it, what was it um not for any oh there's one more thing I want to mention yeah. the very beginning of the movie when they all when you meet all the characters they hit the road kill zombie it starts going you know God of the Vita, honey <laughs> and I don't know why but that part makes me cringe so hard <laughs> I like that song yeah. it's just that like we talked about it in um our best red dragon episode. Cause that's the song they use for Manhunter. Okay. Yeah. Cause the Manhunter movie decided not to use the ending from the book. And they're uh-huh. like, instead of this, how about there's just a big shootout. And they're like, we're going to send yeah, it to you know, Inagata DeVita. I, I didn't know that that was a thing. Like I didn't realize that that was like, cause didn't that come out before? Before uh, Silence it, of the Lambs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's weird that we, that's like, yeah. We talk about it in that episode. Check I, that I out. I should check that out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah so uh, Carlos was bit. Uh, now I and Glenn, he infects himself. Yes. Oh, and- wait, wait. So that's the thing. So there's this part. She gets her brain turned off mm. uh, and she's fighting the conditioning. She blows up the chip in the satellite. That's oh, in that's space. right. <laughs> she with her mind. She fights it. And then she uh, she comes out of it. She jumps up onto the thing, whistles to a couple zombies like she's like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, or it's like, have you seen that rap video with the guy where he's like, and then I told my bitch, I was like, <laughs> you ever see that? <laughs> no. Oh my God. You got to look up this. You got to send it's me called, that video. It's called Hit put a clip That. Of it. It's Hit by that? this, it's this band. It's this guy called your favorite ex-boyfriend. But like the song is <laughs> <laughs> like, he does that in the song. And that's like what she does. So like, she's like, <laughs> and like, you can tell that they, like she went like that. And then they just added it in. But, um, so the, the zombies are eating something they go huh and then she goes <laughs> like that with the knives then she jumps down on the thing runs to them yeah. the zombies are just like duh like watching her do this and then she runs, like cuts them up yeah. but like why did you whistle she, and then run to them 10 seconds later to, like yeah. like you don't think they would have like and she was trying to save someone she doesn't even succeed in saving no. one of the people she she whistles. I guess she saves Kmart the beloved Kmart oh, yeah. Kmart screams and that's like what sets her yeah. off. She hears it like Kmart's completely useless. Yeah, she's ba- it's basically like you know like when Lois Lane dies yeah. and like uh <laughs> Superman turns the world back like Kmart screams. Oh no, you know she was like the fist of the North Star. Like you ever okay. see that? No. Where the girl yells and then like Ken Shiro wakes up and he's like encased in rock cuz he's been sleeping so long and then he wakes up from the girl and he's just like he walks over and beats everybody up. That's what she did. But yeah, so the doctor infects himself with Alice's blood. Yeah. And he's turning into... Oh, no, he gets bit. Or he gets he bit? He gets bit. So, oh, so I thought as he she hurt. runs upstairs... Okay. Because uh, she, she's done with the conditioning, and they're like, where is she going? And then she runs upstairs, and then as she's, like, shooting everybody, a zombie gets up there, bites him. Wait, wait, the doctor? Ian yeah, the Ian doctor. Glenn? Yeah. No, no, uh, what's his name? Dr. I, uh, Dr. Isaacs. Dr. Isaacs. I, he I'm gets saying bit. the actor's name. Okay, okay yeah, but yeah. He gets bit, and then they get him out of there, uh, and then he's using the serum, but he's like those zombies were infected with her blood. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, since okay. they bit him, it's more, so he has to use more of the serum. Okay. That's what it was. And yeah. that's why he's using so much of the serum on himself. Yeah. You're right. You're right. So yeah. So he, he's got the Alice blood and it's turning him into kind of a tyrant. Yeah. Kind of. He's kind of a tyrant. Yeah. He kills that guy <laughs> with his tentacles. Yeah. Oh, so, so the guy goes, he's like, you just die. And he shoots him. He doesn't <laughs> die. And then he goes, Wah! and his hands Wah! turn into horrible, which also I know how to do that effect. too. Yeah. It's like the same thing as I did with the rental reviews when I made my face look all scary. Yeah. It's like the same effect Dude, the, as that. The tentacles and you see more of them later on. The tentacles like the CGI looks so they bad. Go, blah, 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 blah. And then they go in his eyes and mouth. Yeah. And he's like, but like they shouldn't. 
I feel like they shouldn't have looked that bad for that time. Nah. The tentacles look like the heads on the Hydra in Mortal Kombat yeah, Annihilation. They, they probably, like, to be honest, like, they, I think what happened with this was that they, they blew, uh, they, they used a lot of practical effects. Yeah. The, all the zombie makeup is like, yeah, the, zombie practical. the good. dogs were real dogs, I think, again, yeah. too. Like, um, there was a lot of like really good practical effects, but I think like when it came to the CG, they just, didn't yeah, have and kinda, also t- shit looked like crap back then too. What was it, 2007? Yeah, but there was some good stuff. I guess it depends on who you were using. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Carlos, uh, he decides he's gonna kill himself. Yeah, he's gonna clear a path for them. And then I noticed this was like a big thing at the time: the digital airbrushing on Mila uh, Jovovich is very noticeable. Yeah, in the scene. and it's not. That's the thing. It's not all the time. There's just. There's some shots where she's like really digitally I've seen, airbrushed. Yeah, I noticed that too. But then there's shots where she's not, so it's real distracting. It's like, yeah, it's weird. Like she just looks funny in certain scenes. Like yeah. they, they drew her face on almost. Like. Yeah, it's very bizarre. And uh, and then he gets stoned. Yeah, he, okay, so he crashes and he's, he's like, like, I L- wish I had a smoke. LJ had weed the yeah, whole so time. Yeah, so he lights it and then he's just then, like. Yeah, that is like the <sighs> worst the, composite ever. Yeah, he's like, and it's like. And then he just stands still, like he doesn't move. And the, the zombies rest of aren't the time. even like grabbing; they're just like clawing yeah. at the door. But yeah, they blow up. Yep. He kills a bunch of them. That clears the path for them. Uh, Claire knows how to pilot a helicopter. Yeah, that was convenient. Luckily, yeah, that was real. Did, did she know how to do that in the game? I don't remember. No one in the game, other than like probably Brad Vickers, knows how to pilot okay. a helicopter. Yeah, yeah, it's very confusing. Like, she just I don't knows. Think and by else. the way. Thankfully, enough people died yeah. that they can all fit into the helicopter. Actually, Carlos knows how to pilot a helicopter. I believe he flies away in a helicopter oh, at the shit. end of the third game. <laughs> or maybe it was Barry. I think Barry was yeah. flying them. But um, Alice decides to stay behind. because mm-hmm. She's got to go in there because there's antivirus. In yeah. There. Uh, by the way, t- t- th- these underground facilities, they're just... Oh, gigantic. It's like, also, how did they build this without that, anyone that's what I noticing? Mean. And they built several. There's the hive in Raccoon City. There's yeah. this one in, in Nevada. There's one in Tokyo. And there's then, one in Tokyo. And then in, what, in Alaska part five, whatever. there's an underground, underground city. Ground, underwater. It's yeah. Like, it's like, it's like uh, what's it called? The, that episode of, uh, there was an episode of The Real Adventures of Johnny Quest where they had an underwater <laughs> place and piranha <laughs> things were killing people i remember that the one that had like cg cartoons sometimes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um so she what was it uh and all, oh, so that's the thing every time that they're showing this like to you know because of course yeah. they can't they, they they to make budget they show the wire frame yep. with a heat alice yeah. like like the predator yeah and, like she goes down into the and it's like every time they show it anytime they are showing this place it is the wireframe 3D thing. Of I guess it. it's effective. I yeah, it's it effective. works, I guess. But it's always like, it's just like, I don't know. Yeah, so everyone was murdered by the tyrant. And the AI is basically going to Alice. She's like, hey, everything you need to make an antivirus is here. Yeah. But you got to you gotta kill that tyrant. I, I have him locked up, but yep. you got to go down there and kill him. Yeah. So that's her plan now. Uh, the tyrant is not as bad big as i would like him to be no he's like normal sized dude yeah he's kind of like how he was in in welcome to raccoon city yeah and he's wearing he's wearing pants or just what's his name uh well he wasn't a tyrant in that he was he was the william birkin version of tyrant like he turned into it so well so the what he turned into an eyeball monster the the tyrant is like the main the monster version but everybody kind of always just refers to every major monster as the tyrant yeah because and that's that's like me the thing is like so look here's the thing and i'm doing this because if I mess up Resident Evil lore, people get really mad at me. But when I first played these games, yeah. the, they've retconned everything since then. And yeah. you can go on the wiki and like read everything. But back in the day, everyone called all the major monsters in the game a tyrant. Mm. Like like Nemesis is technically a tyrant, but he's like a different form yeah. of a tyrant. Because he so has Mr. a X parasite like a tyrant, in him. I think. Mr. X is a tyrant. Yeah. He So that's the thing too. Mr. X... Uh, that's the whole thing with uh, Resident Evil Survivor is that tells the story of where the Mr. X vir- uh, tyrants are. But they're the I think they're like T-01 or something like that. I can't remember what the hell they version yeah. they're called. But they're uh, 
There is a specific tyrant that's made by they abduct children and torture them and get the adrenochrome in their brain oh and God. all this shit and like use it. that's what they need. It's like crazy. <laughs> and that's all told in Resident Evil Survivor. Yeah. The worst the like hit, one. The hit yeah. game Resident and Evil. And it's like Survivor. and that game has like such a major plot point to it that that's where they create the Mr. X. And his name isn't really Mr. X. It's that just is. kind of like something that was added in. It was never like, like officially that Mr. X in X files. Yeah. That wasn't his name. It's just what they refer to him. But yeah. He didn't and, want and them then, to know his real yeah, name. Everybody just call it like that's, and yeah. he's basically like, like the, the, the nemesis is like a better version of him. Yeah. Much with, with a controllable. Now. Uh, thing. So he's wearing pants. He's a little too tiny. Yeah. But like, so his, and he also has like tentacle. Hands. I was going to say, so the tentacles are either really bad CGI or, or really wobbly latex yeah. rubber. Like they're just wobbling like yeah. crazy. <laughs> it's, and also he just looks kind of stupid. I hate he when does. they make them talk too. It's like weird when they're the final you monster. You can't kill me. Yeah. It's I like... can't be killed. <laughs> so they have this fight. Yeah. I guess it's kind of cool when he shoots his tentacles and her, her telekinesis oh, she, like, makes like a it. window, yeah. like a wall that stops him. And then she like uh, shoots him like across the thing. Well, and the, the weird thing is like he yells and his yell is so loud. It can send a sonic boom, but yeah. I don't think they did enough to add like a, a, an effect. He just it goes just breaks the blah. Floor. And then the floorboards. Yeah. Break. And then she flies through a wall. Yeah, She flies, oh, she flies, into flies through the, the, the wall into the laser. And room. keep in mind, he had, oh, we forgot to mention, she woke up a clone before this. Oh yeah, that's right. And she was in like it a, was bubble. In a water bubble. And she was like, blah, blah. Like yeah, freaking out. So the tentacles, he could just use the tentacles to grab her and pull her out of the laser room. Yeah. But he's just very high on himself. Instead, but he's he like, in there. I can't be killed. I just connected my heart back together. I'm going to go in there. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, he goes in there and then like, you think they're going to have this big fight, but nope. The other Alice who's been alive for five seconds yeah. just knows how to hack in and use the laser thing. That could be because they implanted her memories into the new Alice, though. Maybe. I don't know. But she uses the Sony Vio. Apparently, that room was hooked up to yeah, a Sony Vio. The, everything is hooked to a Sony yeah. Vio. Like, <laughs> but no, she she kills him and he slices. And I'm like, is he dead? Is Can he well, rebuild so that's himself? What I said. He, he kept cutting, like, little thing, tendrils would come out and, like, snap yeah. back. Why can't he just do that? now but he's just cubes so like a lizard like you can cut their tail off well, it's but like, you it, can't keep yeah, doing it it's like in in resident evil 4 there's like the regenerator monsters that yeah. like you can cut every part of them off yeah. and blow it off but they regrow it so i was like why did that kill him i don't know there are clones of him in a later movie but yeah and it gets stupider and stupider uh, each yeah. time you haven't gotten to the final chapter have i've you? never seen the final no uh no actually i've not seen the. so th i've only seen up until what is it? There's a, the next one is Afterlife. The Afterlife and then Retribution, and Retribution. Then the final chapter. Retribution is the last one I saw, and I watched it during pandemic, and I was like, "This is without a doubt the stupidest movie I've ever watched in my entire <laughs> life." It had one part in it that I was like, "That's pretty cool," but it's also really dumb. Well, we'll, we'll get to that one yeah, one day. It's stupid. Um, but yeah, so the clone knows how to use the fucking laser, I guess. Um, so Alice and Alice. Yeah. Get on the Sony Vile. Yeah. Uh, and they, they and call then she Wesker. Tur and then she uses her Cobra branded hologram yeah. to talk to Wesker. She calls Wesker, who's in Tokyo. Uh, she's like, hey, I'm coming. I'm bringing some of my friends with yeah. me. And then cut to like this pullback shot of just a million, a million Alice's. Naked Mila Jovovich. Yeah. Is, like in squirming around in water bubbles. I would like that yeah. movie instead where like they go and they're just all naked still <laughs> like they get to tokyo and there's just they're just naked people fighting each well because other. in the next one they're like they're all wearing the same outfit yeah, except they're, original and it's Al matrix except it's original like, alice has a different haircut uh so the thing with with all the other late all of these movies is like yeah uh remember remember the matrix yeah so we're gonna do like the matrix but with zombies and it's like yeah the matrix came out like 10 years ago <laughs> paul stop doing matrix shit no one like no one cares anymore about that no one cares about slow motion yeah. bullet following it's not a thing anymore like it's not 1999 yeah paul <laughs> like but you know you know what is very <laughs> relevant um the credits play over a uh song by collide yeah, and it's a it's, cover of Jefferson Airplane's White Rabbit. Yeah. Because the lyrics are about someone named Alice. Yes, yeah. Well, the, the, Get it? So when Get I it? heard that, I was like, I've never heard this song in my life, and this song sucks. 
I mean, I've heard the song. I haven't heard that version never, until this movie. I never heard. I don't know. Maybe I've heard the song and I just, it was. Jason un- Rat- yeah, you probably heard it. It well, didn't did sound like see, anything I did heard. Did you see the trailer for Matrix Resurrections? It was used in the trailer for that. I didn't see. No, I kind of pretend those movies don't exist. You can, you can skip. I don't. I pretend any movie that was made in the COVID era did, was not a real thing. Most of the, the time. Matrix Resurrection was made pre. It got released in COVID, but it was made pre. COVID. I thought it was like made like during. No, I don't no? think so. Okay. No, because they they were building that up for a while. Ugh. Yeah, it was. Except good. for like, I liked Bill and Ted. I thought the new I Bill and Ted movie. One. It's fun. It's not. Yeah. Um, it's a definite quarantine movie. Like yeah. you can tell. Like it's kind of like. Uh, like did you see um the the Jay and Silent Bob reboot? Nope. So the Jay and Silent Bob reboot, I think, was made because like. Kevin Smith was like, I'm going to die during mm-hmm. COVID and I need to make one more movie. So he just I made heard he made like this really and depressing, then, so weird. It's not even depressing. It just wasn't that good. And yeah. it was like definitely made like during COVID, but yeah. they were pretending it wasn't. And then uh, Clerks 3 comes out and I was like, no, this was the movie mm. they should have made. They should have just waited and made Clerks. Because Clerks 3 was, I loved it. I yeah. actually really liked it. Yeah. Mm. I really like Clerks too, but this I, was I, I thought a great. Super, I wasn't super into Clerks too. Oh, I, I love people Clerks. Like so I saw it in theaters. I thought it was so funny the Donkey yeah. Show part. I was like crying. Yeah, just, in the I think it's just because Clerks One is like such a relatable com- comedy, yeah. and then Clerks Two they're well, doing musical dance so, numbers. So like, that's all right. the thing though, if you yeah. think about it, the way that their universe went because th- this is the same universe as like Jay and Silent Bob. I guess if we're doing so a it's shared kind of like, universe. Yeah, I well, get like, it. all the movies like the Clerks movies are kind of like, <laughs> and they're affected by this weird universe yeah. that they live in. So it's like it's the next step in that is after the Mall Rats sausage after sausage movie, the the Nazi sausage movie uh was it yoga hosers oh i didn't see that nazi uh, sausage or they're, they're like tiny nazis okay all played by kevin smith i think and kevin smith's daughter who can't act and johnny depp's daughter have to fight these tiny like sausage sized zombies and it's called yoga hosers it's, i didn't know i did not see that did i say zobzy nazi Zobsies? nazis nazis i keep saying zombies because we just nazi talked about zombies hold on, let, me look, let me look this, let me look this up for you hold sausages on. Why do you? Why, why did I say sausages? Hold on. You said sausages. <laughs> you said tiny sausage zombies. Uh, so, tiny sausage Nazis. You yeah. said so. Wait, 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 wait. Tony wait. said sausage, right? <laughs> I think I said so. No, I might be right. Hold on. You said sausage. <laughs> Let me see what they look like. What the? Oh fuck? wait, no, they might be sausage. Hold on. They're sausages. Sausage. Sausage They're... is a weird word. Oh yeah, they are. They're called like the bratsies. Oh my god! So yeah, I was right. They are zombie. Okay, well then, why did you say? Did I say sausage? Now you're like making I'm me like. Confused. Did, you're <laughs> Sorry, I, like, I I've only seen the trailer for that movie, and I went <laughs> sausage, and I went. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. I'll never watch it. I, I now I, I want now I want sausage. But anyway, um, yeah. What uh, what are my last notes here for this wonderful film we just? Uh, about? I hate this movie. Yeah. Besides the tyrant and crows and zombies, I'm not sure what this had to do with Resident Evil. Um, yeah, that's about it. It's, 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 they're there way off the games now. They're not playing. I guess. Yeah. Did, what games did they for? But I guess so they, this was no, 2007. No. So yeah. Resident Evil uh, four is out, right? Five was probably coming out. Yeah. Four had been out. Four yeah, came five out was around like 2009. Four was, it was, was January 2005. It was supposed to be end yeah. of year 2004, but it came out in 2005. Okay. And then uh, Resident Evil five was out in, I want to say, 2008 maybe it's either 8, 08 or 09 yeah i can't remember yeah because then afterlife was 2010 and they put like one of the bad guys yeah from it was the, in the Ouroboros, because it, which is weird because so yeah the, the resident evil 5 was tricell it was an umbrella and mm. they what they did was it was like they took the t-virus and mixed it with the lost plagas oh uh, yeah yeah and then they got the Ouroboros or what i forget i don't mm. know i hate those games i hate five <laughs> I hate six. I hate Code Veronica. I hate zero. So that's I don't care. So what's the future of Resident Evil? Because like the TV show sucked. The new movie. The we, games. The we, games. Just play the games. Yeah. The we remakes enjoyed... are great. The the sequels that they seven and eight are yeah. great. Village was awesome. Resident Evil 2 remake is awesome. Three is good. If yeah. you can get it on sale, get it on sale. Don't yeah. buy it for 60 bucks. Buy it for no, like 20. No, definitely don't buy it for 60 bucks. Buy it for 20, 30. But I paid 30. I love yeah. the game. Resident Evil 4 remake is coming out in like two months, and it looks fucking awesome. I'm excited for that I one. cannot wait for it. I've been playing Dead Space remake, and it's really good. I hear it's good. It's the only thing about it, I will say, is it's just 
Dead Space. It's like yeah. almost beat for beat the same thing, but rebuilt. Yeah. And that's fine because I haven't played Dead Space since 2009. But like Resident Evil 2 remake is a completely, it's a completely different, different game, game than Resident Evil 2 originally, but it still keeps it. But it's not it's, like it's a remake, not a remaster. Yeah. And they as we learned they uh, yeah as we learned but it's that's a remake, thing, like, not a remaster. Re but like uh, Dead Space is yeah. just the original game almost, but just made for yeah. now, and it's yeah. really good. But um yeah, they've been trying to break resident evil off into like different things like i didn't watch the netflix animated series uh they're not are they tied to the animated movies which i i've um, never seen the animated movies actually so the animated movies i think are actually sometimes held they were held as canon yeah um okay so 2009 was resident evil 5 i thought it was 2008 yeah, I think it was 2009. March 2009 that's why it was big it was beginning of 2000 i heard my friend like in college bought like this bag that came with the special edition of the game yeah it's like this man purse i'm like cool so the thing that sounds great resident evil 5 was disappointed me that's where they went well four and five is when they went more action oriented well, well right? four was amazing though four yeah. was a great game and i like, enjoyed four i enjoyed the Wii it version was a departure with like the knife and everything it, it was action but it had scary moments like yeah. it had genuine like fear in it but then the thing was resident evil 5 comes out and it's just resident evil 4 with better graphics and two characters mm -hmm. the same gameplay almost exactly mm -hmm. and i was like I thought they were going to do something better. And the thing was Dead Space had come out right before it. And I bought Dead Space thinking like, oh, I'll get this to tide me over. And that game was genuinely horrifying. Yeah. And it felt like Resident Evil 4, but upgraded. Like you can move and shoot, but it didn't like it didn't make the game easier or anything no. like that. But then you can't move and shoot. You're stuck aiming like this in Resident Evil 5. The 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 gameplay was so annoying. Like Yeah, I heard people weren't super into it. I played on the hard mode yeah. and like it, the second you get hit, you're constantly healing Sheva or she she's constantly healing mm -hmm. you the second you get touched by anything. That's annoying. It was just not fun to play. Um, I, I didn't like I didn't like five or six. Well I yeah, like I don't them. I don't know what they're gonna do with the franchise other than the games. They just stick with the games. I think if they're well, gonna Silent Hill's coming back in movie form. And I think they're bringing the director back, <laughs> back the... in pog form. Yeah, they're bringing the director back from the first one, I think. I like the first Silent Hill movie. I should we should review Silent Hill. At some I really point. didn't mind it. I when I saw it in theaters, the yeah. part it actually gave me some genuine scare. Yeah. That was um, decent. I need to like finding a copy of Silent Hill is like impossible. Marshall's got a few, yeah. but but they're like yeah they are like but they're they're remaking them so oh they're well I'll wait they're I'll... remaking them but they're like I don't know if you saw like what happened with that whole thing where like well I, I know years ago they did the HD trilogy and it was like yeah. garbage well so so they remade they're remaking Silent Hill two and everything and yeah. they released the trailer for it okay the day before or like the week before Resident Evil oh. four remakes trailer came out. So everyone was like, whoa, Silent Hill 2's back. Uh, and everyone's like freaking out. And then Resident Evil 4 trailer comes out and everybody's like, oh my God, what? They, <laughs> they did it. Like they made everything amazing. But Silent Hill 2, they just like took the game and made it nice looking. Like it, the combat's still yeah. uh, like the same. They, they didn't change like anything about it. Well, back to this movie. Uh, I think on just like an action level, I don't, I don't know. I feel like this is the most entertaining one for me. I think the first one's still the best, but like, or if we're just factoring in the sequels, this yeah. is the most entertaining one for me because the other ones Not get real, like Apocalypse was just bad. Yeah. Apocalypse and she almost didn't dumb. even come back for the really? next one. Yeah. But the other ones are just so fucking stupid. They're like, really stupid. A little too stupid for me. They are like <laughs> stupid is like the only yeah. way you can really say. This is like that like... little, it's this one is like kind of schlocky and dumb, but yeah. the other ones are just fucking stupid dumb. as hell. Yeah, they're stupid movies. But you know what's not uh, dumb is this show that no. I usually do in the video store unless people break into my house. We can just do it at the store next time. Yeah, I'll be at the store next time. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Kieran, where can we find you other than our living rooms um, unannounced? I am. I, I stream on Twitch uh, every week. I'm usually mm -hmm. on. I'm. Uh, it's twitch.tv slash Kieran. It's K I. Five E's R N. Uh, I stream like all the time. I stream a lot of like you know too like Resident Evil yeah. and things like that. I play Street Fighter. Marshall's usually there. We goof around and we're cringe boys. So did you play the expansion for Village? Not yet. I oh, forgot yeah. I, I even I, I had streamed it actually because I've been streaming more often these days. Yeah, and yeah, I streamed that when it so came out. That was I'm, fun. I'm right now. I, I have a PS5, but it's not hooked to my stream setup because my TV that I play it on is. Yeah. 
not part of my stream setup. So I'm oh. waiting to play all those on stream. But I've also just been playing my PS5 for myself because yeah. I like I've been doing that. But um, yeah, that's it. I, I have an Instagram too. I sometimes post on. Mm. Uh, I do not have Twitter. I, I am fucking. I deleted my fucking Twitter. I, I did it out of nowhere too. I was like, "Fuck this site! I hate it." I'm well, you done. know what? It doesn't help my stream. I looked at it. Point six percent. Well, look, look, look. I'm glad because you weren't verified like me. Who yeah. Verified. <laughs> did you we, buy your verification? Look, you know we don't need these unverified you people. Bafungulo. We don't need these unverified <laughs> people. Hey, I am well, a Twitch. Well, the I'm chosen. A, hey, huh? You're verified on Twitter. That's really uh, cute. Uh, you, are you a Twitch partner? No, I'm on my oh, I'm, I'm, see, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a partner on Twitch. Well, uh, <laughs> I have sometimes 11 or 12 fans on a website that is only meant for fans. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, top that. Are you, like, showing your wang in the... In the <laughs> I haven't gotten... We'll see. We'll see in a couple of months how my you bills know, look. <laughs> I, I actually... Um, I, I thought about doing, uh, like, an old fans, but... I would play uh, porno games. <laughs> That's like actually I would a play pretty like good weird, idea. Uh, weird, like the weird arcade the ones. The ones they stuff. always advertise, yeah. like on yeah, websites. Something like that. Like just the weird ones. There's too, like, so many lonely moms in your town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, you'll come in five seconds with this game or whatever. Like, <laughs> uh, no, oh. but I, yeah. So that's it. Like Twitch, um, I have an Instagram, but like, uh, yeah, Twitch is the main place. Yeah. And if you sub to me on Twitch, you can get into my cool Discord server, which nice. everybody is. Uh, everybody's really cool. Uh, just don't be a dick in my chat, and don't make me have to ban you <laughs> because I will. I don't like care. Well, my Patreon. If you sign up for the five dollar tier, you get the commentary tracks and access to the Discord. Oh, nice. Uh, we well, it's like the same thing. Yeah, I yeah. have like if you sub, it's like five bucks yeah, like, yeah. or whatever it is. Um, or yeah, if we have you some, have Twitch have, Prime, you can. <laughs> we have some fun in the Discord. I usually test out like my thumbnails and some ideas with the the guys. That's in a good idea. I just usually go in and say stupid shit. And I, I like whatever. <laughs> I have some funny emotes. I have like a. Yeah. I have Gorbachev from Street Fighter Two is my most oh, popular emote. Thanks actually. for reminding me. I've added some emotes to this channel and my Twitch. So if you're a channel member here, you can use those emotes during the live episodes. Very cool. And on Twitch, I got some there too. Uh, they're a lot of fun. Remind me to send you the uh, the King Caesar Kieran. I oh, can send you yeah. that as an emote. I yeah. you, you know what? Um, actually, because I uh, we were we were looking at the uh, the Pod Monster. Yeah. And I was like, oh, they did art of me as King Caesar. Let me find it. I was trying to show Tara, and then, I can uh, send it to you. I it wasn't on the episode, so I was like, ah, oh, crap. I gotta ask. I forgot. It's, yeah, yeah. It's I can funny send it to that you. this was like a month or two ago too. Like when yeah. I said this. Um, speaking of which, last last thing before we leave, the Castzilla channel is almost monetized. Cool. I've been uploading the older episodes that were on Hack the Movies over there, so they can all live in the same place. Uh, I'm working on a plan to bring that back. The Clips channel is fired up. I'm adding clips more often and the mini reviews from the live episodes. I'm getting more consistent on Patreon, mm, which is nice. Cool. I'm trying to build a calendar and a plan. And I thought yeah. about doing Patreon stuff, but I don't like, I don't know. I think with the stream is like all a, uh, yeah, it's maybe, a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yeah. It's a lot of work. To I don't consistent. remember. I think I was going to like do like MS paint art for something or uh, for people That'd or something cool. like that. Yeah. I don't know. That'd be cool, oh, and I yeah. also, I do also too. I work on Cinemassacre. Yeah. That's what I, I guess that's like my day job though. Yeah. So I don't really like, I'm not going to say like, see me on cinema. I'm not on it anymore. <laughs> I am behind the scenes now. You're not on it anymore. No. I haven't been on it in years and people still complain about yeah, it. Yeah. I, um, no, I, uh, I, uh, don't like being on camera anymore. That's why I haven't been on this show in a while. Uh, but, but you felt the need to break into my home. Yeah. And set to up be cameras honest, like, <laughs> to talk about resident. <laughs> like, well, look, look, look. You always have an open invitation to the store. Thank you, Tony. To the store. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, why we do you have the microphone set up in your apartment if you don't want people? You said you set these Oh, up. yeah, that's right. That was the joke in the beginning <laughs> of the episode that I made. Anyway, that's it from us. Goodbye. It's time to hack the movies.